Most people love their tech gadgets, but do you really need a creepy robot butler? From a nearly obsolete music player to a vibrating fork that helps monitor your calorie intake, these tech products are a total waste of money. Automatic coffee machines have been around for a very long time. The idea behind them is also quite simple. You load up the coffee machine, set the timer for when you wake up, then marvel at the fact that you're getting up to freshly brewed java. Morning, Mom. Fresh brewed coffee? You can even get coffee machines that work with smart home assistants like Amazon Alexa. Unfortunately, they do have their downsides, so if you're a true coffee snob, they aren't really worth the extra cash. Furthermore, the way an automatic coffee machine works can have a massive impact on the quality of coffee you're getting. Usually, people will load the machine up with grounds the night before. Unfortunately, the machine isn't airtight, so keeping ground coffee in it for several hours will make the grounds go stale. It gets even worse with smart home-ready coffee makers. For these coffee makers, you'll have to keep them locked and loaded at all times, or the smart home function will be utterly pointless. Furthermore, the amount of effort required to prepare each pot of coffee remains the same. You still have to grind beans, load them into the machine, and add water. The only difference is the time delay between the process and the tasty payoff. It's also worth noting that you can buy some machines that take whole beans. These machines will also grind the beans for you, thus resulting in a higher quality cup of coffee. But these machines tend to be more expensive, and you still need to add water and a fresh filter every time, not to mention the nasty cleanup after every use. Instead, you're probably better off getting a Keurig or even a regular drip coffee maker. Hands-free soap dispensers may actually be the most pointless gadget ever created. You can sort of understand the logic, especially after the precautions that people began taking during the coronavirus pandemic. Wash your hands! Bathrooms tend to be covered in germs, so the fewer surfaces you touch, the better. A hands-free soap dispenser removes the need to touch one of those surfaces. The machines are pretty easy to use, too. You simply wave your hand in front of a sensor, and a measure of liquid soap will be squirted into your palm. Easy, right? The problem is, a soap dispenser is the last thing on earth that needs to be hands-free. Every time you use it, you're going to be washing your hands immediately afterward, so it doesn't matter if there are germs on a regular soap dispenser. After you wash your hands, those germs will be cleaned away. Now, a hands-free water tap would actually be useful, seeing as you do need to touch the handle after scrubbing your hands. Unfortunately, hands-free water taps require a complicated installation process, so people are far less likely to have one. Either way, hands-free soap dispensers are ridiculously and utterly useless and best to be avoided at all costs. Smart homes take many forms. Some people are happy with a home assistant and a few light bulbs, while others try to cram a smart device into every corner of their house. Smart fridges are one of the more expensive options, often retailing for several thousand dollars. For that kind of money, you'll get a fridge that can play music, suggest recipes, even display digital art. Unfortunately, a smart fridge is a bad investment. And that's not only because you're paying more for features that you don't actually need. For one, a smart fridge could actually lead to major security issues, so you're really paying a premium to compromise your home's cybersecurity. This problem occurs because of a fridge's lifespan. The large, expensive appliance should last at least a decade, with many fridges lasting even longer. It's also not the type of product that people are likely to replace before they need to. On the other hand, cybersecurity is a constant battle. This is why you see everything updating so often. Usually, updates are only made available for devices under a certain age. Most electrical devices only last a fraction of a fridge's lifespan, so this isn't a problem. But your smart fridge will likely hit a point where the manufacturer is no longer offering updates, which means the fridge will no longer be capable of running current software. As a result, this could easily create a vulnerability that hackers could exploit. So save yourself the trouble and a few hundred dollars by buying a normal fridge. Since millions of people use Amazon every day, it's safe to say that the company knows a great deal about our shopping habits. So if you're one of those people who are fed up with Amazon knowing so much about you, you're better off staying away from the Amazon Astro, the creepy, expensive robot thing that was unveiled back in 2021. So why is getting an Astro an awful idea? Well, it's a massive privacy threat for a start. The thing is equipped with a bunch of microphones and cameras, and it has the freedom to wander around a large area of your home. Furthermore, Astro requires all kinds of permissions to function. It also saves a database of people's faces and is vulnerable to cyber attacks. On top of all that, the thing is largely useless. At least the Roomba tidies up a bit. Astro just acts as a rolling security camera notification device, meaning it can't directly interact with anything. Sure, some of the promotional materials show Astro bringing its owner a beer. But in order for that to happen, someone has to place the beer on top of it. 
So, considering Astro can't climb stairs, you may as well get the beer yourself or have whoever is near the fridge bring it to you. We may have robot butlers of some kind in a few years, but Astro isn't a step in the right direction. Astro, let's dance. Losing weight can be a struggle, so if there's a product out there that can help, it's naturally going to pique a lot of people's interest. Unfortunately, the diet industry is also filled with useless gimmicky products and medicines that fall squarely within the snake oil category. Amongst these useless products is the Happy Fork, which is designed to reduce the number of calories you consume by making you slow down while you eat. I've heard it my whole life. You're eating too fast. So how does Happy Fork make you eat less? It's simple the fork vibrates. It also has indicator lights that are supposed to tell you that you're eating too quickly. It's all based on the idea that most people feel pretty satisfied after eating for 20 minutes. So, if it can reduce the amount you consume within that time frame, you'll fill up and eat less overall. The fork also attracts the amount of servings you've consumed each minute, as well as the time between servings. It also monitors the overall time it took to eat the meal. This is then recorded on the product's database and shown on the brand's website or app. To top it all off, this vibrating, snack-reducing utensil costs a whopping $99. So, you might be better off using a regular fork instead. The modern smartphone is a marvelous thing. Beyond its texting and calling abilities, it can serve a seemingly unlimited amount of functions. While you may try to justify having dedicated devices in order to save storage on your phone or reduce the drain on its battery life, there really isn't any need to take up extra pocket space with something like an MP3 player. MP3 players get hit in two departments. Firstly, your phone likely has plenty of internal storage, which you can easily fill with music. Some phones are also capable of expanding that storage with a micro SD card, though flagship models like the Samsung Galaxy S have long since dropped this option. Additionally, if you want to save your storage, there's also streaming to contend with. Tidal, Amazon Music, Spotify, or any of the other streaming music services have hundreds of thousands of tracks to select from. You can even save your favorites and listen to them offline. Yes, you may be caught with no signal and unable to stream, so there is the small possibility that you won't be able to listen to music when you want to. But the inconvenience of keeping an MP3 player on you as a backup device and making sure it's charged just isn't worth it. There are plenty of people in the world who have a thing for physical media. After all, things like vinyl records, CDs, and DVDs feel more tangible and real than purely digital copies of media. For lovers of physical media, there's nothing to worry about if the internet goes down on a movie night or, say, Netflix decides to get rid of their favorite TV show. After all, they already own the hard copies, and in their minds, a fully stocked DVD collection is eternal and untouchable. So, if you want to start your own DVD collection, go right ahead. Just don't buy a dedicated device to play them on. Plainly put, it's a massive waste of time. If you've purchased a laptop in recent years, it likely won't have a DVD drive. This is because they're seen as a waste of space by most manufacturers. But the last several generations of major brand gaming consoles still have one, provided you haven't bought the digital-only version. That said, you're better off grabbing one of the several generations of Xbox or PlayStation that have DVD and Blu-ray capabilities. A used PlayStation 3 or Xbox One could cost you around the same amount of cash as a similarly capable Blu-ray player. Furthermore, the Xbox or PlayStation also gives you access to streaming services and games. Additionally, you get all the benefits of physical media without having to dedicate an entire wall of your house to storing it. You can buy and download digital copies of your favorite films and store them on a portable storage device like an HDD or SSD. Also, most modern TVs and projectors have a USB port that the drive will plug right into. This means you'll never have to search Amazon or eBay for DVDs of your favorite TV show after Netflix decides to suddenly remove it without warning.